Hey guys, this is Momo for Just Us Momo right here on Bass Musician Magazine. Today's question comes from a guy called Jonathan McDowell. Jonathan says, Greetings bro. I was wondering if you were still doing those excellent your Q's and my A's. I was wondering if you could do one about effective ways to record bass, especially when using different kinds of guitars, effects, appropriate software, electric versus double bass recording, etc. Also, your recommendation for a good, reasonably priced, medium-sized bass amp for playing in an apartment without irritating other residents. Bass Brethren, you are a bass blessing to all of your blessing bros. Please continue to enlighten us all. Hey Jonathan, thanks for the amazing energy. I really appreciate it. Well, this is a pretty wide question that could basically have a much longer video. And really, it's a class on its own, but I will try to give you some basic answers to get you started, my friend. When it comes to effective ways to recording your bass, and especially these days, when you're talking about doing it at home and controlling the rumble factor, I would have to say that direct recording straight into your sound card is the way to go. I personally have been using Universal Audio for years, and these cards are powerful and let you add amp sims and other effects like EQ and compression that gets recorded into your DAW with no latency before it hits the tracks. This is a really good thing in my opinion. You can record bass with any decent card. I like to put one of my dark glass pedals, like any of the Ultra series, that lets you cycle through a clean and a distorted sound. It's a preamp and there's a built-in speaker simulation for direct recording. And this makes a massive difference for a straight in sound. All the rest could be tweaked once it's recorded, including adding a speaker simulation plugin, as well as other things that bassists love, like EQ and compression. Now, you're also looking for some kind of decent size amp for your apartment. I would look for something that you can plug in direct for recording, as well as a straight up amp. The choice will vary on your budget, but regardless, they will all do the job that you're looking for. Orange makes a small bass amp with a speaker sim out and foot switchable distortion that could work. Also, the Fender Rumble series would do the trick as well as some Ampeg stuff. I have a micro VR with a 210 cab that I love that will totally surprise you. I personally use a dark glass Alpha Omega 900 series amp alongside with some of their new speakers. I truly love those guys. Right on, Jonathan. I hope this helps you, and I wish you the best on your journey. Remember one thing, no matter what you do or what you get, in the end, the creativity and the playing is going to be coming from you. Go for it, my friend. I thank you for your amazing energy and wish you an awesome day. Guys, you've been listening to Just Ask Momo right here on Bass Musician Magazine.